Hey guys, welcome to the Little Big Podcast. This is episode 125. That's right, I'm Austin. I'm Daniel. And we're back with our question and answer special slash E3 special. Um, our normal lives kind of got in the way of doing our E3 episode mini sode thing like and we said we last week. And we didn't weekend. have enough footage. Right. So. We didn't want to have, pop up here with an E3 video and say like, oh yeah, there's all this cool stuff and not have anything to show you. But we have stuff to show you this week. So, yes, um, and it's going to be great. Yes. Yeah. I guess we're going to go ahead and start off. We have some move questions from you guys. We have some PlayStation Vita questions from you guys. And then we have some random questions for you guys. So let's go ahead and kick it off with the move questions. All right, first off, we have when is move coming out? Do you think it'll be an update or will it be an expansion pack? As for when it's coming out, I would Should say... Be probably month. either end of this month slash next month. It'll Something be like pretty that. soon. It'll be and, moderately um, soon. It's not going to be a patch. It's going to be a DLC kit. Yes, and, and it's not right. going to cost a lot of money. If I had to guess, probably like $6 to $10, right. somewhere in that general area. So something like that. It's not going to be like ridiculously expensive, like 40 bucks if you want move. Right, yeah. it's, it's not going to be like that. And You're, you're paying yeah. for a lot more when you do get the pack. You're paying for a lot more than just like move, move controls. Yeah. You're paying for uh, 18, 18 story, story levels. levels. And so it's going to be a pretty beast move pack. Move functionality, move creating it's gonna be great so All definitely right. put that on your wish list and start saving up so money for it next up we have a question from andre the dj will you be able to corner cut with little big planet move now no, i'm not sure yeah. if he means corner editing in create mode or corner cut as in like pick your sack boy up and throw him all the way up to the top of tower of whoop hopefully not um, yeah know. we're basically going for right here corner, corner editing. editing um i'm thinking little big or I keep saying Little Big Planet Move, which I guess is technically is. correct. But PlayStation Move um, is, I think, is going to be more used for like play Gaming. mode. Yeah. Now you're going to be able to like program your own games and stuff with it, and you'll also be able to create stickers. Right. And sticker I don't know sets. how many creators are going to want to use the Move as their primary create. Yeah, that could get so, a little bit annoying, I think. But probably, if you really wanted to, you could do. Yeah. Corner we don't know everything. Like I imagine you could, but I don't really know. For Not sure. totally sure. So uh, next up. Will the PlayStation Move pack have costumes? I'm going to take a just blind guess and say yes, because with 18 levels, there's probably going to be new worlds, which means there will probably be new costumes with those new worlds. Right. So, like, if you say six levels per world, they could there could be up to, like, three or four new costumes. Right. So, I'd Don't say know. there's a pretty good probability of having good chance. some costumes. Yes. Okay, will there be a new control seat type thing for the Move controller? Are you reading our minds? Because yes. Because that's a yes. <laughs> and the cool thing about this is the Move seat is going to be kind of like direct control for Move in the way that like you can bring up everything to a specific fun function. So like if you want the compass, then you'll bring up the compass to this. and like right. you You're going to have control over X, which way Y, and Z axes. Um, axes? With, yes, that's the plural. Of, um, anyway, you're going to be able to <laughs> manipulate those and have something manipulate in the game. Um, we're going to go over some of the other tools that weren't asked in the questions after a few more, I think. So, yes. um, like, yeah, so he's continuing on. Uh, what you're going to be able to do is open up this uh, specific controlinator for PlayStation Move, and it'll come up with the map. Of course, you're going to be able to tweak the axes, controls. You're going to be able to tweak the, um, well, I guess, positioning. Each Move controller the bulb on the top will change to the player's pop it color which, which is, is cool brilliant and um yeah so that's basically how that's going to work and you will be able to program pretty much every aspect of the controller to work with whatever you have going on it's gonna be really neat so definitely be looking forward to that now next up for categories we have playstation vita hold on just a second we do have some more move stuff. Oh, we really do. Quick. Um, there is going to be a uh, new power up called the Brain Crane, and this is going to be something that you can run through, and Sackboy will wear it, and that signals that you're able to use the move to manipulate the world or Sackboy. So um, basically, you're going to be able to have that hat on, and you're going to be able to move objects. You're going to be able to move, um, I'm pretty sure it's any grabbable material, if I'm right. And I think so. um, then you're going to be able to pick up each other and yourself. So this ought to Which be pretty is cool. cool. And um, yeah, just it just looks like a really good pack. Um, let's see, what else did we forget? There is a new sticker layer coming, 
that right. is exclusively be basically, for stickers. Right. You can have your heads up display and everything. You know, a map, an ammo count, a health bar, all that stuff without is using be, holographs. Yes. Yeah. So and then um, another thing using the sticker layer is going to be a sticker creation suite kind of thing. I can't say creative suite, but it's going to be a creative center to create stickers. Right. And you can draw your own stickers and modify the opacity of the layers. Right. So you're, you're basically going to be able to do like Photoshop, Photoshop in Little yeah. Big Planet and then basically create like PNGs, if you want to say that, yeah. for uh, Cut stickers. Out so gonna that's going to be pretty awesome. awesome for those of you creative minds out there. And uh, the move pack's going to be huge. Uh, new gameplay, Definitely. obviously new story <laughs> levels. Um, we're going to have new create aspects and loads of customizable opportunities. There yeah, the really stickers. exciting stuff. So now can I move on? Yes, now okay, we can move, we can on, move on, to on to PlayStation now. Vita. PlayStation and, uh, Vita was yeah. announced officially at E3 2011, and it is going to have a 5-inch LED sc OLED screen and rear touchpad, front touch screen, dual analog sticks, and basically the processing power when you compare it to a PS3 and it looks incredible. Now, the reason we're talking about this is Little Big Planet for the PlayStation Vita. Right. Uh, we do have some footage here, courtesy of the PlayStation blog, more specifically uh, Jeff Rubenstein Thank and you guys. Ray, you whose guys last awesome. name I still cannot pronounce, but you know who you are. <laughs> and um, yeah, so let's go ahead and break into our questions, and then we'll go into some more specifics with Little Big Planet Vita. At what date will PS Vita and LBP Vita get launched? And this is from Julian Bisney. <laughs> okay, um, now that we got past the, all the crazy names, we can get down to this. Probably holiday season. Right. We don't know for sure. I don't even know that Sony knows for sure at this point because they didn't really they're definitely pinpoint They're definitely date, shooting for later this holiday year. Holiday season. So, so. Uh, it'll be really awesome. The price point for the Vita, in case you haven't heard, is 249 for the Wi-Fi only version and then 299, 299 for the for... 3G version. Which right, is and when you compare be awesome. it... I mean, honestly, if you're going to be leaving your house at any point and want internet, it'd probably be worth getting the 3G, probably. 3G version because then you can, you know, like game everywhere and it has GPS, which is really cool. And there's a lot of features where you can connect with right. GPS, which is cool. But that's just a side note. Probably holiday season. Yeah. Would All you right. agree with that? I would agree with that. All right. Let's Next go with question is from Tyler Furness. When playing Little Big Planet on the Vita, can you connect and play with others on the PS3? At this point, it's not sounding mm, like it. It doesn't sound like it now. They're trying to make this a completely different experience, a completely different game. While still being Little Big Planet, it's not going to be a port of the PS3 version. Right. And it just looks phenomenal. And something they may be able to do, this is just a thought, but I mean, they added so much into the Little Big Planet games. Like, they're adding Move, which is a totally different feature right. now. They might just have to add yeah, that down I, I would I wouldn't go as far to say as impossible, but I definitely would say... It's definitely it, not it impossible. Could ha yeah, it, it could happen, but at this point, it's not on the radar. Not, yeah, it's not so. really looking like it. But something to just keep your hopes up about the cross-platform stuff is um, Wipeout. It's Wipeout something. And you can connect with the PS3 version of Wipeout and play online. And there's also uh, Dust 514, and that's both cross-platform... MMO kind of stuff, and it's going to be pretty cool, so yeah. don't get your hopes down too low for cross-platform capabilities. Yeah, so I guess we'll just have to see how that all goes down don't in really the future. Um, online Create, what about that from the Alp? And uh, well, we don't they really did, know. they did really emphasize multiplayer, so... I'm thinking if it's multiplayer, then there it's could be. definitely going to be course, possible. And of course, same with Little Big Planet, same with what we just said there. They added Create in. was added, so right. there's definitely a possibility with that. Obviously, you're going to have more spotty um, connection. Because, I mean, if someone's out in 3G, I mean, you lose connection. Obviously, you're going to lose connection at some right. point. So it might it may get be, kind of annoying. Right. And so I guess we'll just kind of have to see how that works. But Maybe they'll even add something like you have to have a steady Wi-Fi connection right. to do it. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, that could definitely be a possibility. That's not really confirmed yet. Create well, Little Big Planet Vita in its entirety really has not been fully, I guess, described. Yeah, it hasn't yet. been totally. So it's still in its development phases. So anything could still happen at this right. rate. Also, another question is how is multiplayer supposed to work with touchscreen? Um, I can actually answer this a little bit because I saw on a trailer for Little Big Planet Vita something interesting and that was this there was a mouse and then there was also a more specific like almost crosshair crosshair kind of thing, kind of yeah. thing. 
So I think the mouse is the other person's little touchscreen thing, and the you know crosshairs are yours. And it will work online because they've already said that. But as for the specifics, not really sure. Right. But it will work online somehow. Okay. And then we have one from Backscratch that says, does the layer glitch work? No idea. I would say probably. probably. I mean, it's going to be built around the same type mechanics, of thing. Mechanics. Everything's going to be Big the Planet, same. So I don't know. It, um, one thing that we do know is that it will have all tools from Little Big Planet 2. So you're going to have more. all of your logic boards. You're going to have... Right, you're going to have rear touch, uh, yeah, you know, so direct control I stuff. guess we can kind of go ahead with what we do know about Little Big Planet Vita. We do know that we are going to have some tilt controls, and that has been demoed once again yeah, in this six video. Axis, as you just see, like the PS3 courtesy thing. of uh, PlayStation Blog. Yes. And um, it looks great. It definitely adds a dynamic feel to it. Um, also, you're going to have touchscreen capabilities. Uh, you're going to be able to move touch blocks around. Touch panel capabilities. Right. So the back panel is going to work. Um, it was demoed here with a little puzzle, and you're able to touch on the back to make these blocks slide out to build a platform up, and it's one-to-one -one pretty much. So you're able to, I guess, do like crazy games like this, and obviously this was just one of the levels. There's no, I mean, this was one thing that was also described is don't get worried, and I know Daniel was saying this too, don't get worried that they're going to like make this as cheesy as possible. Because right. yeah, there are some I games like, that take mm. the new features and they implement them everywhere. And it's just like, okay. Overly implement. It's like, them. okay, touch is cool, but I mean, I don't want to have to sit here through everything and do that. And right, it's like not. some of the stuff, you look at it and you're like, okay, I can't really picture sitting there and being like, oh, touch, touch, touch. They, they said they're not going to throw it in there just to throw it in there. If it needs it and could use it, then they're going to. But it's, it's not, not it's not like, gonna be like over implemented. Yeah, I was watching so. it and I'm like, oh, I really hope they don't abuse this. And they even pointed that out specifically. So that right. was definitely worth it. So uh, we saying. have that. We do know that there's going to be online multiplayer. We do know that there's going to be local multiplayer because now you're able to play um Yeah, multi touch. And so you're gonna be able to like pick up and play with someone who's sitting right next to you on the same screen in right. case, you know, like not everyone's going to have a PlayStation Vita. And so you're gonna be like, Hey, check this out and you're gonna be able to like Share it with your friends, so you're going to be able to move around playing like air hockey was demoed, uh, lots of other games. And um, one other thing that was kind of mentioned in this PlayStation blog video that really just kind of sparked my imagination, I guess, is the fact that you don't have to necessarily make even just levels. You could go around making apps if you wanted to, right, which is like, like, okay, absolutely brilliant. It's going to be like the app store, really, and everything's going to be free. It's like, okay, I want to make Angry Birds. Let's just say, you know, throw a popular franchise name out there. You could make Angry Birds in Little Big Planet and have it work with touch controls and rear touch controls, right. and even just utilities Crazy. like a like a level. I mean, if you had the accelerometer controls in there in the Vita, you're going to be right. able to like make a level and a level as in like you know that yeah. kind of level, <laughs> level. an <laughs> actual level physical so much level. in uh, Little Big Planet that that could be confusing. So yes, yeah, so you are going to be able to make two types of levels yes. with this and. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I can't wait to get our hands on it ourselves. And uh, Please. so, yeah, <laughs> we do have a couple of trailers coming at the end of this episode, so hang tight for that. Um, let's see, what else are we missing? Seems like we're missing something. It does. Um, yeah, go check the PlayStation blog. There's about a 12-minute video up there of pretty much everything that's going on, and you can kind of watch it. There's narration. There's more explanation. And uh, probably a lot better so of a bad job for that than camera us. guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. So definitely go check that out. It was a brilliantly done video. Yeah, it was really and, cool. Uh, thanks for letting us use those clips, guys. Good job. And uh, yeah, so I guess we're gonna move on to our random questions now. Oh yeah. Okay. First random question is: When you first saw Little Big Planet, what made you want to play it? And that's from Luke Hard. Okay. The main thing about Little Big Planet that was just incredible was the endlessness of it. It was like so huge that people could just make their own levels, push them out there. Everybody could play them, and it, it just seemed like a really, really awesome idea for a game. So that was one of the things that got us really attached to it. And then the other thing was, like, Legos. We were obsessed with Legos, and that was all we could do was just build stuff. So, like, being able to digitally build stuff was even cooler. So that was, yeah. like, a big It's thing. like unlimited bricks. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was awesome. So uh, next up we have from Kyle Davis. Do you think that Little Big Planet 2 is going to have a Muppets DLC pack for the upcoming movie? I would say yes, yeah, because probably. here are the reasons. Um, Toy Story is getting a DLC pack, which is going to be announced soon. <laughs> yeah. um, 
Then we had in the collector's edition, there is, of course, the alien from Toy Story, which kind of gave away, okay, they're probably going to do yeah, more than just the alien. Yeah, they're probably going to do more. And then there's a Gonzo costume in the collector's edition also, which means they're probably going to do more. So I would not be surprised to see a Muppets pack announced very soon. I wouldn't be surprised and, uh, either. Yeah, so good observation there. I forgot to bring that up. I think we are going to do that once, but we never did. Yeah, we so, never. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, next is... Which two games did you pick from the Welcome Back package, or did you guys pick up any? Um, I actually picked up Little Big Planet just because you know it's nice to have another have it, like, on the digital heart, copy. Right, yeah. And then um, I picked up a PSP game for my friend who was like, "Oh, please pick me up a PSP game." So I picked that I one think up. We got Wipeout and Infamous too. Yeah, those Infamous good. as in Infamous also because two wasn't <laughs> Infamous two was not there. the confusion there. And uh, how did you two end up doing podcasts? Well, I think we've told the story about every single time that we've done a Q&A episode. Okay, so it goes like this. Crash TV was the podcast for Burnout Paradise, and it was a beautifully made podcast. It's still you know, inspiring to go back and look at what they did. And we were like, hey, there's this game coming out, Little Big Planet, and it looks cool. Why not try it ourselves doing a podcast? Right. And we tried it, and... Here we are. Two and a half years of experimentation, and this is what we have. More experimentation. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So uh, lastly, do you like cheesecake? And those all three of those questions were from Apo Cleo. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Um, I like cheese. It's it's all right. I mean, I I like say I wouldn't say it's like like I would die for a piece of cheesecake, because if you die for it, then you will not be able to eat it. That's very true. So um, I would have to say that I like it, but it's not like the thing oh you know what's the best cake ever okay so it's a chocolate cake right you following chocolate cake no, yeah with chocolate icing all over it's so much chocolate it's amazing i just had some recently and it's delicious awesome okay so next up we have some questions from arnold 23 who we actually know in person very cool dude yes he is uh, will you guys buy the playstation vita Yes. Yeah, definitely. That's a that's a one word answer right there. It really is. Can you guys do a new segment on the show like Creator of the Week once again? Are you reading our minds because that we're was our thinking about that it. was a secret project that we were working on. But okay, go ahead and expose it. Fine. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> we don't care. Will you guys make another meetup in the summer? I suggest New York City. No, because <laughs> the, someone else is already doing one in uh, St. Louis, and uh, you can go to that one if you want to, and we'll have more on that in a little bit in the episode. Um, so yeah, sorry, that sounded really rude. I'm sorry. No. Yes, we would love to do a meetup, but someone's already doing one in St. Louis. We could so, do one in the winter. Unfortunately not. We could. We could do it and we then could, try maybe. to get PlayStation Vitas there. And exactly. We, oh, That's that'd brilliant. be sick. Okay, when will you post the rest of the interviews that they did in the New York City event? Well, we're not in possession of all of those, unfortunately. I know. And uh, That's sad. the package that we shot actually never went up. I don't think they liked us. But no. um, any, <laughs> no, anyway, they were, they were really uh, cool yeah, people. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so we have one interview. Actually, maybe we have two or three interviews that we never used because the audio was horrible on them. If you bear with us through that, we'll upload them. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to see any hate. complaints on there about no. the audio was bad on this one because we know and yeah. we can't fix it. It's sad. It's just it really like is. that. And the next request, or next request, I read a word in there. And the next question is do you get many random friend requests and does it ever annoy you? And that's from Climbing Girl. Yes, until our friends list maxed out and then we never really see all those friend requests anymore. Yeah. So I have no idea how many friend requests we would be getting if our I'm list either. were maxed out. So I was thinking about clearing my list out the other day and then I'm like, I just can't do that. I, I can't. It's impossible. It's but- too hard. <laughs> All right, what are your thoughts on Little Big Planet's success up to date? Um, I would say it's pretty awesome. It's crazy. So I did some math the other day, and um, there's 4.4 million levels published right now. That means that if everybody had 20 levels published, which most people don't, but that would mean that there were 220,000 active creators in Little Big Planet. Which That's is pretty impressive. It's ridiculous. It really is. Because, like, I have one level published, so you can take me out of that number. And how many levels do you have published? Maybe five. Five. Less, I mean, so. a lot of people don't have 20 levels published. So when you think about it, that is a lot of people making levels. And it, it's kind of funny because I know some people who are not really into the whole, like, I guess, internet gaming kind of thing. Like, 
you, people who aren't really into like playing online, I guess. And there are a lot of those people. And I've talked to them, and they're like, yeah, Little Big Planet is huge. And yeah, I guess it's, so it's weird cool. because we're so immersed in it. We're like, okay, we're in our own little planet here. Yeah, we had somebody tell and, us. They're like, yeah. oh, one of my friends went out, and they're like, I wanted to buy my daughter a sack girl. And they're like, you play Little Big Planet? And they're like, yeah, it's huge. Yeah, and I guess so we never realized that. Being in this tight circle of like knowing about Little Big Planet, I guess you don't <laughs> see like funny. outside to see how like everyone else like absolutely loves it. So it's really cool to, to hear about stories yeah, like, like that. Yeah, when you take a step back and you look at like Facebook or something, there's like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people up there that like the page. It's like, whoa, that's kind there of intimidating. There are a lot of people out there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you plan on making any Little Big Planet 2 levels? Um, no, because we're awful at creating, and yeah, it would, be, really it would be a it. shame to put our name on Block World version 8, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> you know, there's one thing I thought about doing. When Move comes out, I'm just going to make a level where you dance like crazy. It's going to be great, but... You you really should do that because I that would that would pick up plays like nothing else on it earth. It would it would. I should collab with somebody. Though, okay, so it's not and awful. then finally, <laughs> do you prefer Battlefield Three or Modern Warfare Three based on the trailers shown? <sighs> well, I I guess I'll have to wait till tonight because there is going to be a console demo. If, well, I guess not tonight. It'll be last night by the time this comes out. But honestly, I'm gonna have to. You know, stand up against the hate and stuff, but I'm gonna have to say Battlefield Three looks the best. It's crazy. From, the yeah, lighting. From what I've seen, and, I, I, when Daniel showed me the teaser trailer at first, I was like, "Why are they doing why the, is like, it the live real action? people thing again?" Like, I was like, "Okay, everyone is doing the throwing real people into the game thing and making." I was like, "Why are they doing this for this game?" And he I'm was like, like "No, this is not, that's this real. is gameplay." I was like, "Whoa!" So, uh, in terms of graphics. Obviously, I've never played either game, but in terms of what I've Not seen, yet. Battlefield 3 looks way cooler. It does. Okay, so those were all of our questions. Now we're going to kind of move on. We have a few things to say before we go. The St. Louis Little Big Planet Community Meetup is going to happen from July 29th through the 31st, and it's going to be obviously in St. Louis, Missouri, in the United States. And you can go to littlebigplanetcentral.com and or no, is it lbpcentral.com? I don't remember. I always get that confused. <laughs> I always get it confused. Um, anyway, so find your way to that website, and <laughs> there will be a thread there for that specific event. And you can RSVP. There are like 20 creators going so far, plus Spaff from Media Molecules right. probably going to be there. Um, we have, Lock Stitch yeah. is going. Actually, he's organizing it. Uh, ConferMC... There's like loads of people and I'm right. forgetting all so the So there's some but. huge name creators plus some other cool people. And uh, if you get the chance to make it out there, definitely do that because it would really make everyone else's day just to like getting everyone together is just really cool. And I've heard this described <laughs> before so weird. as like meeting these people that you know, but you don't really know. And we've done it when we did it in New York City. It was so weird. Like seeing like yeah, somebody walks up and I'm like, oh, I'm, and I'm like. Oh, okay. okay I didn't even recognize like, you. It's like, oh wait, how would I recognize? Exactly. Them? So like, people were coming up to us. And they're like, hey, you're, you're the people from Little Big Podcast. They're like, yep. And we're like, who are you? And they're like, they tell us, and it's like, okay, well, we have no idea because yeah, we wouldn't have known. Sorry. So yeah, um, definitely funny. check that out. We're planning on attending, or at least we're looking into it. Uh, not sure that that's a hundred percent possible. But uh, I don't. If know. we go, we will be live streaming because all of our gear will be going with us. So uh, be on the lookout for that, and we'll definitely shoot some awesome video for those It'd of you cool. who don't get to go. And let's see, that covers that. And then we have obviously we're going to do a PlayStation Vita uh, Little Big Planet trailer um, examination tomorrow. So that'll yeah, be as soon up. as possible. We will get it right. done. We're actually shooting on Thursday, so we have more time on Friday to edit and then shoot more stuff. Yeah, that's making any <laughs> sense at all. And so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Um, then we have. Courtesy of Nick DeVita, who is the actor, if you'll remember, from the Best Buy commercials with Kevin Butler in them. He took a, a lot of his time, well I shouldn't say a lot of his time, he took some time off of his busy schedule of shooting videos for BestBuyOn.com to shoot us a little exclusive video talking about his experience with the Little Big Planet Vita, and uh, then we're going to toss to, I guess, a... Um, what do we have? We have a Little Big Planet Vita trailer, which we're then going to be analyzing. So I guess we're going to go ahead and do that. So okay. anyway, that's all we have for this week. I'm Daniel. I'm Austin. And that's all we got. Trailer. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. At a Little Big Podcast, just want to give you guys a shout-out. Some exclusive video from E3. Behind me is a PlayStation booth. Saw some really cool stuff. Saw some Vita stuff. 
some Uncharted 3 and definitely some Little Big Planet, especially on the Vita. Couldn't get any footage for you because it's against the rules, but hope you enjoy this exclusive video, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.